Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Alright, we're going to just include this as a part of the uh, next update. We're not going to make anything... Uh, special just the paint I uh, have given the uh, framework that's on the bottom there coat I think it may just get one coat the uh, brace that's laid on top has just been coated a second time I want to see what the difference is and compare before I go to all the trouble of uh, painting those again so it's uh yeah they're brown you know that's uh pretty much after one coat how it dries the uh, so you know if, if this is going to be a, look a lot better i may go ahead and redo the whole thing or the rest of it i should say but if the difference is negligible then i, I may just go ahead and Leave it one coat and, you know, go from there. This, uh, a lot of this probably won't even show. Now, the ones that's uh, um, not painted at all go against the um, desk there on the end on the uh, workbench. And they do not show at all because there's a cover over the top and then at the bottom there's no way you could, I mean, I don't think I even get down low enough to see that. So, that's no problem. Um, it's possible you could see the, that side, the bottom of that, I don't know, it's just, uh, I'm not going to worry about it, it's just, uh, not enough to worry about, so, anywho, uh, that area there where the screws are at doesn't get painted because it's going to be covered, so, like I said, that's, uh, that's where we're at with that. Just wanted to add this, like I say, this will be added to the next update. And that'll probably be on the wiring for the bench. As you can see, I still haven't cleaned the bench off itself. And that's going to be a monumental task in itself. Getting it ready to uh, move out from the wall there so I can do the wiring. I do have to find a piece of wire yet. I uh, was hoping I had enough, but uh, I don't think I've got any left at all from what I had before. Now, the piece that's on the bottom there, that's the the top shelf that the oscilloscope sits on. And I still haven't decided whether I'm going to paint that or not. I may, I may not. I don't know. Now, the, the part you're looking at there with all those paint spatters is the bottom of it. It won't, won't be shown at all. So, um, the other side's still clean. So, anywho, that's what that's going to look like. And uh, just want to add this short bit of an update to it. And I'm taking a little break myself from painting. I, I did this uh, framework and uh, like I said painted second coat on this this uh, piece here. And uh, we'll see how that looks when it's dry. And go from there. So stay tuned for more. Uh, morning YouTube here on this Monday morning. I'm going to uh, give you an update on the uh, bench progress but first I want to show you something else yeah that's what I was going to show you apparently the uh, repair did not take so that means I will be pumping up my tire today isn't that special as for the uh, bitch update this is the uh, framework for the bottom. It is done. In fact, all the pieces are done. It's just hard to see. There's the uh, uprights for the shelves. The brace for the shelves. All uh, have two coats and are done. Now, the only thing that is not done is... I don't know if you can see it or not. If I could turn around, you could. There it is. 
You see the line over there is still there. I have to saw this out. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing that because of the having to do it with a saber saw and it's a little time consuming and hard to do, but uh, we will get it done. So that'll be next on my list of things to do. Still haven't got a piece of wire to uh, wire up the bench. Uh, that's kind of holding me back. I, I was looking online, and well, I looked on uh, Home Depot. <laughs> You can't actually go to the store and get a foot of wire. <laughs> um, if you if you want like less than a roll of 12-2 with ground, you have to order it, and they will ship it to the store, and you pick it up. I think December 5th is when they said it would be available. So, so uh, that's not going to happen. So hopefully. Get back out to my son-in-law and daughter's house. Uh, maybe I can find a piece. I thought maybe I had a piece that was long enough to, to go. Even if I just had the individual wires, I could use those. Because uh, I, I know I stripped some wire off to do some other stuff. And I can't remember what I did with it. But it's here It's here in this mess somewhere. So, <laughs> anywho, that's what that is. So I think what I'm going to do is, is take this stuff, get it out of the way after I saw that uh, piece off of the uh, the uh, shelf top there, or what do you want to call it. Um, like I said, the rest of it is just a matter of, the only thing that's going to be put on that shelf base is the uh, upright for the side that I can't get to, which will fit against the wall. And the rest of it I can put together after the uh, after it's in there. So I'm not going to worry about that. I just need to be able to get in to screw these into the uh, actual workbench area. and uh, Still have to uh, mount the uh, power strip on this end and the other end. So once that's done and, and the wiring is done and the bench is cleaned off and the drawer is removed, speakers taken off, those, uh, I think the lights, I don't mean the lights, the uh, camera boom will come off lights can stay um, I think it's gonna I think it'll reduce the only thing that's gonna be on there that's heavy is this uh, variac and I'm trying to my best to get out of taking it off because of it has to be unwired from the switch and I don't really want to do that so I made a mistake when I did that I should I should have made a, a did this plug thing from the beginning and plugged it in instead of, that would have been a lot easier but uh, is what it is so this is my update. Uh, I'm going to combine this with the update I shot the other day when I first started painting. And uh, I'll probably put that on first and put this on last. <laughs> uh, beautiful day out there as you already saw. See again now. Um, had to pick up Kylie today. Hope I can get my tire pumped up. I'm going to go out there a little bit and try to do that because if something happens where I can't get it pumped up. A lot of times when they sit and go completely flat, they'll come off the bead and you have to basically jack them up and let the bead reseat itself. So, uh, hoping that's not the case, but you never know. So, I thought I would do that early, just in case. So, you guys uh, have a great day. Oh, a few more things I wanted to add here. Yeah. Let me go back in the other room. All right, we're back here in the uh, living room. One of the things I got in the mail, I think it was Saturday, is this. Let's see if I can get a little more light on it. Light on the light. Now this uh, plugs into your USB on the computer, or if you have one, it plugs into the wall, which I do. Plugs into there. You can see the LEDs on there, 28 of them. And I think uh, I have had this hooked up, and it does provide quite a bit of light. Uh, it will be good for working on the bench, and there's areas that you can't see, you know, with close-ups and things like that. This will be good to light that up. And I have another one of these coming. The other one coming is has a, a, a spring clip on it to where it will stay where you put it. And it also has a much longer cord. So this one can be used with a uh, extension, a USB extension. I've already used it that way. 
and uh, like I said that uh, flexible uh, uh, cord line whatever you want to call it is kind of posable I guess is what I would say you can you can put it certain ways and the light should stay there so that's one of the things I wanted to mention now the other thing is um, I don't think I've mentioned this before but I went ahead and bought another radio much not much but like the other radio that the Bluetooth receiver that I demoed um, now this one is is basically made for a car uh, to go in dash in a car and uh, it uh, I think what I'm going to use do is use it for the Buick instead because for one thing it has uh, four outputs four speaker outputs I wanted something with four and uh, it's just it has the dial on each side to where uh, you can adjust it for stations and things like that without pressing a button, which I like too. Um, the uh, couple other things, it is Bluetooth also, and uh, it uh, I think it was like twenty dollars and fifty one cents shipped, so that's not too bad. It is coming from China. That's the bad part. I am going to put up a picture of it here for you to look at and see what I've got. So now that you have seen it, that's what it looks like. Um, I've, I've seen some reviews on this, and it, they, the sound is good and uh, mostly positive on the reviews. So um, that's what I've got coming there. Also, uh, I went on eBay looking for a um, single meter that would handle my uh, uh, high-voltage DC unit that I'm building for my Variac. And I did find one. It's uh, actually it was on Amazon. I couldn't find it on eBay, but uh, this is what it looks like. You can see there. And um, like I said, it uh, basically measures uh, zero to six hundred volts DC and zero to five amps. So that should be perfect for what I want. Uh, I should never approach you know we're clear close to 5 amps but at least it will be there in case it's needed and the 600 volts I think 400 probably is uh, from before 25 something like that it's probably as high as I'll get with this because I'm only going to put a voltage doubler on it and uh, uh, if I did a tripler I probably would get close to that but uh, I think that's what we're going to go with and for at least for now and when I get that, that it's supposed to be here on the first. Uh, uh, apparently, Amazon has these in stock because it's shipped from Amazon. So, um, like I said, when that arrives, I'll show that to you. Hopefully, by that time, maybe I'll have the uh, bench moved and I'll be getting uh, used to my new digs, and uh, that that would be nice. So, I think that's all that I have to catch up on. Um, if I think of something else, I'll put it on the next video, I guess. But uh, that's about it. So you guys have a great day. And it's supposed to be up in the 60s here today. So that will be nice. Be nice to pump up my tire in that, that kind of weather. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching and we will see ya.